Hi, I'm Chef Tony Matassa, and today we're grilling porterhouse caveman steaks. We'll start out by digging a pit for our fire. Now we'll line it with rocks so we can get a little extra airflow under our coals. With the pit line, we can start on our fire. Now we can add a little coal. Lay out some crushed black pepper. And don't worry if it looks like a lot. We have some very thick steaks to put on here. Now generously coat the top. Some coarse salt. Rub that all in very well. Let's turn them over, give the second side a good coat. And again, a little coarse salt. Rub that all in and we'll let them sit on the stone for uh, about 30 to 40 minutes before we get them over the coals. Fan off any loose ash. Start out, we'll put some onions. If you're gonna do this, you want some really nice size big onions and leave them in the skin. We're just gonna roast them like that. They'll be fine in the coals. Now it'll take the onions about 40 minutes in the coals. You wanna get the entire thing very charred and this can all be removed for a sweet center when you're ready to eat. Now we can put the steaks on right into the coals. Don't worry about any ash. I promise you it's extremely minimal, if any at all. The thickness of the steaks will keep the insides juicy and because it's actually sitting on the coals, most of the flames are just rolling up around the side. They're not actually hitting the bottom of the steak. This will give you the most incredible caramelization over the entire steak. When you have a nice overall crust on the bottom side, they're ready to turn. As you can see, there's basically no charcoal on it. There's a little piece which we will shake off before eating. Beautiful. It smells incredible out here. Let's check on our onions. You want to make sure that you use at least one and a half inch thick steaks. They don't have to be bone in, but it does kind of help and taste a little better. Today we're using two inch thick porterhouse steaks. I've right, got the second side going for about four minutes. It's time for these bad boys to come off. They look amazing. I'll let them rest a little while and we'll get the rest of the meal ready. Before we make our sauce, we'll put some peppers and mushrooms in the coals so we can have a little side. Let's get a little char on these, just a little extra flavor. The mushrooms will cook pretty quickly, so after about a minute or so, I'll turn them. The mushrooms are ready as well. We'll remove the peppers, and now we can start making our sauce. A couple tablespoons of butter, and the butter's just sizzling like that. I'm going to put one of the steaks in for a minute so that we can make a great sauce. After 45 seconds to a minute, turn the steak. You just want to extract some of that great flavor for the pan sauce. We'll remove the pan and just dump out the excess oil in the pan. Pour in about a fourth of a cup of cognac. Shake this around well and add two teaspoons of coarse salt and two teaspoons of fresh cracked black pepper. We'll follow that with about a cup of heavy whipping cream. You want to shake that around until you can get back in there with a caveman whisk. Whisk around, just let this reduce. Once it's reduced a little bit like that, add just a little bit more fresh cognac just to flavor it up a little bit, and we're ready. The onions smell incredible. Let's get them out of the pit. Drizzle with a little steak au poivre sauce. Perfect. That looks amazing. Thank you for watching today. 
I hope you enjoyed it and hope that you'll subscribe to our YouTube channel and keep the comments coming to let us know more of what you would like to see. I'm Chef Tony Matassa and remember at BBQGuys.com we smoke the competition. <laughs>